Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about the model predictive controller for a buck and mortar in MATLAB. So this is a simulation model we developed for a buck and mortar. So first we have to go uh, the main we are going to see about the design of buck and mortar, the main design of uh, inductor capacitor value and then uh, load resistance and fluid cycle calculation. So here you can see that so in order to design uh, buck and water right so you have to provide the power rating of the buck and water input voltage switching frequency of the buck and water and then output voltage and then load voltage voltage maximum and then you have to specify ripple inductor current and the uh, ripple capacitor voltage so this is equation used to for calculating l so this is equation used to for calculating c and then uh, this is a load resistance value and then duty cycle okay so once you execute this program so you can see that value of l and c here right so you can use that uh, l and c value and then r value for making this uh, simulating, simulating model right so just you have to connect uh, different element like uh, dc source and then igbt diode model and then diode and then you have to connect inductor and capacitor and then load resistor okay so now we are going to design a model predictive controller so in order to design model predictive controller so we need a transfer function model of this buck and water okay so in this model we are going to control the buck and, uh, buck and water output voltage based upon the the duty cycle right that means we are going to control this uh, IGBT switch by means of a, a pedal impulse. Okay, the pedal generator will be uh, controlled by means of this duty cycle. Okay, so for this system, right, the duty cycle will be act as the input. Okay, and then uh, here we are going to control only the output voltage. So the uh, load voltage will be act as the output. Okay, so we need to collect the data first, input data and output data. So by using to space block just you got to uh, store the data in the space right so here you can see that so whatever uh, duty cycle we are uh, calculated from the calculation right just you got to use that value and then you have to run this model okay so after running this model right so the data will be going to be stored in the space so here you can see that the data available here right input data and uh, output data so next we need to uh, create the transfer function or uh, identify the transfer function based upon this input output so for that we have to go to apps and then go to system identification toolbox okay and then here you have to import the data so just you have to click time domain data and then here you have to specify the input data right this data and uh, this data right input output data and also you have to provide starting time and sample time okay so here i'm going to provide that input data and output data output data and then starting time of the simulation is i'm going to take zero and then you have to proceed with the sample time so sample time just you have to go to here and then we take the sample time of this collection collection of data okay so just you use the same sample time so here i'm going to use same sample time and then you have to import the data so after importing the data I'll go to estimate and then click transfer function model okay so click transfer function model and then click estimate so it will be take uh, some time for a uh, completion of estimation of the plan based upon our input and output data so you have to wait for some time in order to complete uh, this estimation process so after completion of estimation process okay just close this two window and then here you, you can see that this is a transfer function model is updated from the input output data what we are provided right so just you would right click uh, here you can see that this is a transfer function for that uh, uh, given input output data of that uh, buck and water so next you go to export this one just export so after exporting you can see the transfer function detail here so here you can click this one df1 okay 
so this is a uh, date of numerator and denominator denominator of that uh, transfer function so next to process you go to home and then click some link okay and then click uh, blank assembling model and then here you go to type mpc so just type mpc and then you go to type lta system linear time invariant system and then you have to connect the output of uh, mpc right so here to the transfer function so here you have to provide the detail of uh, uh, numerator denominator, denominator of the transfer function so for that go to transfer function here and then click numerator and then copy this one and then go to transfer function and then paste it here and then next you have to take a denominator and then copy this value that mean a detail and then paste it in here okay and then apply so that the transfer function will be uh, will be given here okay so now you have to provide that uh, model output right so this is a model plant right so plant uh, output uh, to the here and then you have to provide reference command and then you have to provide uh, model disturbance okay so here i am going to take this value directly here so model output that will plant output as a model output input right here mpc and then next time i am going to use constant block okay so here we are going to design the system with 50 volt right so as per our design right the output voltage is 50 so here i am going to provide reference command will be 50 and then here i am going to provide uh, the disturbance i'm going to zero so we are not using any disturbance command in the system okay so next to process just you have to click this one mpc and then click a design process so based upon the transfer function so you have to design the mbc controller okay so you will see this uh, the mbc designer block and then click MB, mbc structure and then here you have to provide the sample time right so sample time already told right sample time should be same as that of the uh, collected data sample time okay just you have to copy that one and then you have to paste it here and then click define linearization right so it will be linearize the plant and then here you can you can see this uh, yeah so here you, you, you will see this right the time response of the system okay so this is scenario input so this is model predictive controller input okay so this is uh, constant right so don't worry about that this is a model a predictive controller that means this is disturbance input right so this is model predictive controller output and then this is a, a disturbance input right and then this is an actual response of the system okay so here uh, just you zoom this little bit you will see that so you can see that uh, ash color is the actual uh, system response and then the blue color nothing but the model predictive response okay so it will be track the system response effectively okay so now i am going to use the same model, model predictive controller design so for that so here you can uh, click and then update block right so i'm going to update the block so i'm going to click update the block so after updating block right so here you will see that mpc design okay so next to process i am going to use this mpc block so already the system having mpc design everything as per our input output data transfer function everything okay so next to process i am going to save this model okay save model to mpc and then i am going to paste that mpc control right so mpc controller will be placed here okay so once again so here i am going to place the mpc so mpc output going to be connected to here okay So 
output will be connected to here right uh, that will model uh, me right and then uh, just go to take this output of the buck, uh, buck convert to the model output and then you got to delete these two and then you got to use constant or step so i'm going to use step input for the reference okay and then for model disturbance i'm going to use constant and here i'm going to use zero uh, initially i'm going to make uh, step time equal to one and then initial value is 50 volt and final value 50 volt that means reference voltage so what reference voltage you have to maintain here right now i'm going to simulate this model and then i'm going to show the result of input and output voltage so here you can see that so input voltage is 70 the output voltage is 50 right so we are getting a 50 volt at the output end okay so now i'm going to change the step response so step time i'm going to take uh, 0.5 and then initially the reference voltage will be 50 and the final reference voltage will be 40 and then i'm going to submit the model so we will check the response of the system for a step change in reference command okay whether the system will be respond for a change in reference command from 50 to 40 volt okay at time of 0.5 seconds so here you can see that so because of change in step uh, reference command right the output voltage of the buck converter changed to 40 volt from 50 okay so based upon that uh, reference command the mod will be work fine so no problem okay so this is working of uh, model predictive controller for buck converter in matlab so thanks for watching our video kindly subscribe channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye